Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about how to create for the first time fast, very basic script in by using an ISV. So let's open ISV. So here we have the 64 bit ISV. Uh, we have this uh, console, so I'm just trying to pin out here so that uh, I don't need to again go back to the start menu all the time. Now I can click on new script so that it's going to create a new blank script. Uh, if you can see here, it's showing as untitled2.ps1. Now I need to uh, input here uh, the scripting, uh, whatever the script we wanted to write. So I'm planning to get some kind of uh, information from the WMI to get the specific to uh, drive space uh, in a GBS uh, and post to develop this basic script I wanted to run this on remote computers to do that uh, as a first instance uh, as we played uh, earlier in the normal shell the similar similarly we can also create here some kind of you know commands for example here I can use a get hyphen instance uh, which is gonna create which is the CIM instance uh, it's gonna actually uh, if I give the tab it's actually writing the full command light and from here I can say that um, I should be able to uh, get the uh, connect uh, I should be able to connect to a class if I just uh, type it here as the hyphen C L A S S and uh, you can check out here it's automatically coming uh, see. Yeah, if I just type it, tab, it's coming up as the hyphen class name. Uh, the class for the uh, hard disk, it would be Win32 underscore logical disk. And if I just hit here execute or I can select and execute the specific line. If I just execute this selection by using F8 or with F5, it's gonna uh, fully execute the complete line so I am getting here the full information from the WM mic a class called wing 32 logical disk now I wanted to further level filter the specific uh, syntax to see only few of the drive letters let's just focus on one drive letter to um, to get the output so for that what I have to do is as I said filter so it that should be filtered uh, should be available so uh, what I can do is I can a filter you can see here it's coming up already filtered and the device ID is the one which we wanted so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just copy this device ID here uh, with the specifications like in the in the double quotes uh, opening and uh, equal to the ID output is C colon in this case so I'll just copy paste this C colon uh, but it should be in a single code and close the double code now I should be able to get the output only for the C drive let's give it a try yeah I'm able to get it for only the C drive now as a next step I as a next step I wanted to run the specific uh, command on a remote computer so I can simply type here the should come up for computer name if you can see here if I just give as the hyphen it's taking out the computer name uh, in my case I have a, a remote computer INHYD hyphen this is your one it should be uh, this is my domain controller which I just can I can uh, ping it in fact you know by opening here itself I am HYD hyphen this is your one I'm able to ping I should be able to yeah I'm able to ping so that means the connectivity is available so let's give it try with this so it's gonna execute on the remote computer if you can see here the PS computer name is also coming as the INHYD DC one now I don't want to view with the unwanted uh, uh, unwanted uh, here the fields like you know provider name volume name so I wanted this uh, value to be a proper device ID and the computer name should be this should be the computer name and the free space should be uh, available in the gigabytes and uh, instead of you know a lengthy number that's the ultimate end of the script possibly to you know make uh, such a kind of you know a very good looking output uh, before that uh, what I wanted to do is I just wanted to have uh, just the computer name and uh, this time only the free space so just wanted to these two values so what I can do is here I can again uh, pipe it to just selecting uh, 
um, the objects like you know you can check out what kind of you know, objects we have for example I can if I forget uh, I can you know just go to the uh, GM so that it uh, uh, so here you can have the model uh, module you can have the properties that you wanted to only view for example I can have here the PS computer name so you can check out that should be something like a element of P yeah here the PS computer name is there as well as the free space is there so I just want these are the properties so I can just go ahead and uh, work on that property so what I'm gonna do is uh, since I know now what are the uh, properties are available simply select uh, that specific uh, uh, property in this case um, first one should be the PS computer name uh, like a PS and also uh, you can you need to have the free space in my case so I'm just taking these two of the values and execute now I get a proper output where it looks in a very decent way now only thing is I just wanted uh, here this values should be in a GBs so let me save this uh, as a demo demo script and make sure that it is actually selected as the here so if you're trying to work from ISE so just forget about the extension it would automatically save in the required format automatically as the PS1 in my case I've already have the demo so I'm gonna override that and now let's um, let's try it, uh, further level of the uh, scripting fine-tune for example for example here instead of these uh, entire uh, selecting I'm gonna take it out the select uh, in and make it in a right way uh, to do that what I'm gonna do is uh, here I'll just keep these and uh, I'll just keep these uh, but I'm gonna you know fine-tune this PS computer name in such a way like you know if you can remember uh, we wanted this entire object to be come into if you can remember this command uh, what we would have uh, teach you in the previous sections like to uh, to create your own property name uh, for example in this case I don't want this as to be uh, has the complete free space instead you know I may be just called uh, name as a free or something else so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write here the script uh, since I already opened the brackets the first one would be the name which is name equivalent here I can give here the name uh, would be computer name instead of the PS name PS computer name I don't want this uh, PS computer name so instead what I can give here is uh, just the uh, computer name and um, this computer name should be in the double quotes because that's a text should be appear as it is whatever you write here if you can remember um, in the in the previous lectures we did actually um, have already done very similar to this in uh, for the different scripts altogether but this time we are trying to do it in the IEC so that a later point in later point in the modules we can easily modify and we can play with this uh, demo script Let's also write uh, equivalent, which is expression in this case. Uh, equivalent again. Open your uh, curly uh, brackets. Here you can see that the memory, whatever it is coming from the memory. So in this case, uh, chart. You can see here all the classes are coming up. Out of this, uh, now there should be some value called PS computer. Also, you see here uh, there should be some value like size all that so I'm just going to write here uh, these are the methods you can see you know of with the uh, with the different color altogether when when you, you know look at here these are the uh, methods which you can you know get the output now as a next step uh, here I'm just typing here as the PS computer name and that would actually um, gives me so this is a value which I wanted so I can simply here uh, paste it as it is so now the next one is I wanted to find to an even this specific value which is the uh, free space uh, to do that uh, for the free space I'm going to uh, again run at the rate uh, very similar to what we have done here 
right so in this case again I'm gonna um, go to the add and uh, open up your brackets with the semicolon uh, the first one should be the name uh, name equal line uh, the name this time uh, I'm going to give here as a free space in GB example and then I should be able to write the remaining command uh, which is here again okay, this should be in the uh, this should be again uh, equal line uh, so post to this it should be right free space and should be in a double quotes now it looks good and uh, the expression should be written uh, in this case expression e equal line uh, which I need to call from the brackets again so here from the memory uh, underscore dot uh, I want it here as a free space so that's that is this value so I just replace this so now the same value which we have created uh, we put it in a completely different uh, format now let's give a try the same syntax right so let me show you uh, the difference between the first uh, syntax which we developed so if you want to comment anything here what you can do is I'm just pasting the same uh, syntax and just pasting into uh, if I uh, add here as hash that is a shift 3 uh, it gets commented this entire script so uh, whatever we developed so uh, this is a script like if you can see here this values we have customized with our own properties uh, and own naming format so when I execute this entire script by saving here and I should be able to get in a proper name so in the previous I used to get as a PS computer name because here it was a PS computer name so instead of the PS computer name what I've done is uh, from the memory dynamically I changed the property uh, to computer name that's why it's coming as a computer name now similarly for the free space what I've done is this free space has been changed uh, from the memory with a different property by creating our own property called free space uh, a free space in GB and data is coming out now only thing is I need to have uh, fine-tune my uh, this specific value should be in the right way so what I'm going to do is I'm going to customize further uh, here the entire free space is I'm going to calculate this free space uh, by uh, 1 GB and uh, if I just give this as a 1 GB it's gonna uh, show me in the 1 GB so you can see here I'm showing as a 11.5 GB which is a, in a free space but I don't want this uh, dot a specific values already so I want uh, I wanted this value to be shown in only integer so what I can do is I can go back here and type as that's the uh, that's output as integer so I just need to give here as int that's it it's gonna actually show me the proper value so this looks good for me uh, and I can save the script in case if you're not saving it would actually come up here as the uh, comment and it may ask you to save so once you save that script uh, you can run it otherwise if, if you are running for the first time by saving the script it might also ask for the execution policy to be you no know, set it uh, to remote signed or to be locally run the scripts let me set into proper lines so that I don't need to go every time to the uh, scrolling left and right so I have this uh, I just I can you know uh, hit enter to the next line after the pipe or I can do it even after the comma so I can execute this specific script which is working as it is that looks good to me as a next step I want to change this specific computer name uh, values also I can f uh, I can add somewhere else also just for the uh, sake of you know uh, another way to write before I make any kind of changes here I can actually 
copy this existing script and then on top of it by copy paste to another uh, another line or uh, somewhere else and i can do the further level modifications so that i may not lose the original script for example in this case i just copy pasted this one as it is and then you know we we build this uh, as a second script now we can try with the third version of the same script by keeping the same thing in the same uh, text editor to do that uh, in this situation what the biggest challenge is you you may have to write here as the every line to be commented like this as the hash instead of you know every line to comment like this what we can do is we can uh, actually sit here uh, like this with the hash and uh, this is a starting point of the line to start to comment and close with a bracket that would actually uh, uh, closes the comments so this uh, makes that this part of these uh, lines are not going to ex are not going to be executed in the script for example if i just execute uh, it's not executed anything because it, it treats as the nothing is inside the script file so that's how it's going to think so what i'm going to do is i'm going to modify by taking as a tease the script uh, to the next level of um, next uh, type of uh, method where we can write up uh, here what I can do is I should be able to actually pull here the computer name from the CM instance uh, whatever here we have this part should actually should work for me directly from a CM instance like computer name with this uh, from my uh, wing 32 class that's fine if I execute as it is uh, till this place, for example, I should be able to get the output uh, in a right way. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm getting the uh, the complete output uh, here uh, because we, we actually executed full part. So let me execute only the selection part. So you're able to get the full information. If I don't choose a filter, what would happen is uh, we're not piping anything so i'm just selecting and executing so we get everything as it is so the advantage of the pipe uh, here you can check out here once i pipe it actually the selection comes goes to the memory and gives the calculation and only the required properties so this should work for me yep it's working fine for us now we have completed complete writing of one of the script either i can use this line or this line both the lines are working fine now i can simply save and execute once uh, it's going to actually execute it so if you can see here the execution method is what happened is it actually opened a powershell command light and from uh, sorry powershell console and from there it is running the full part of the script so uh, it's as simple as like you are working on a, another shell and calling that specific uh, script here for example like this or you know you just call like this uh, it's also one and the same or uh, maybe if you are in a different path altogether like maybe c drive example so you are actually calling uh, from here uh, direct part of that script so this is what it has done now so it's just calling this uh, kind of you know, command uh, from this shell so make sure that your execution policies if you if it is a for the first time make sure that you have the execution policies or configured properly now uh, this is not the uh, full script we are going to modify based on this current script in the upcoming lectures thank you for watching this